I've got a very simple web page here. As you can see in the body section, all I've got is the image tag, image source equals, and in quotes, box.jpg. So all this page consists of is a graphic displayed. And the graphic is here, the web page. The web page is on my desktop here, and the, the box graphic is here. And if we go to Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox, you can see how it looks. A nice, a nice extra, well something you might like to do if you're displaying graphics, is add alt text. And what that means, what that means is, well let me, let me demonstrate, okay. After the, the source attribute, space, alt, equals, and in double quotes, you place your text, your alternative text. So let's say this is my ebook cover. Let's save, go back to the browser, refresh. Okay, so now if I hold the mouse over it, let's try that again. Okay, what I've done, I've opened up that page in Internet Explorer. For some reason it wasn't uh, responding as it should have in Mozilla Firefox. So, okay, exact same code. Alt equals this is my ebook cover. And what it does, if you hold your mouse over the graphic, you get the pop-up, the alt text pop-up. So it's beneficial for that reason. It's also beneficial because if someone happens to be browsing without, well, with graphics turned off, you know, obviously it's going to be a real minority of people, but some do. You can go, for example, here, go to Internet Options, Security, Custom Level, and if we turn off graphics, uh, let's see where it is. Actually, I think actually it's an in advanced and let's multimedia section. There we uh, there we go. Show pictures. Turn that off. Okay. Okay. So now let's refresh. You see. If someone was browsing with images turned off, they wouldn't see the image, but they instead see the alt text. So it's helpful for giving more context in that respect. And also, if you have some uh, relevant text, it can also make your page slightly more relevant in the search engines as well. So those are the benefits of adding alt text to any images you have on your page.